All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching The Promised Neverland, Season 2, Episode 2. I've got absolutely nothing to say before the start of the episode, so we'll get right into it today. Remember, if you like the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And anyway, let's get right into the episode right now. Oh, is this the opening? Did we have this last time? I don't remember. I think we did. I think we had it as the ending, didn't we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did, yeah. It is a banger of an open, though. Like, it's one that's like, it's good, and then it's going to keep growing on you the more you listen to it. Oh, I love the idea of them, these kids finally, like, seeing hope and finally finding somewhere where they can be at peace. Oh, please don't. Yeah, please don't tell me you ate them. Jesus Christ. Took the wrong path. Emma's, Emma's like, super mentally strong, even in scary situations, situations like this. Oh, they're all fine. Thank God, they're all fine. Jesus. Oh, thank God. Good. Nice demons. My name's Mujika and Sanju. Really? What do you eat? Oh, they're so nice. Hell yeah. This is exactly what we needed. Jesus. What is it? Hell yeah. I like that. Who are they praying to? That's nice. I wonder what they eat then. Well, actually, they're eating right now, but what is it they're eating? The are, they, are the demons eating this? Apparently it's good. So the demons eat the same thing? Let's get some info, bro. I'm as confused as you two are. Damn. It's crazy that these two can hold back. Religious reasons. Ooh, I like that. That's an interest. So it's a whole faith? But only humans? Okay. Well, that's fine then, I guess. Damn. So if it's a whole faith, and then there must be a lot more of them, right? To be able to talk to someone from the outside society of the, the demon society is crazy. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to know this too. Please do tell. I'm, I'm, there, there's so much mystery to this story. I'm so interested. They proposed a solution? The humans? What? Alright, and how did that go then? Because it's clearly not well. It clearly got broken. Wait, so there's an actual human side of the world? But just these humans were left as, like, breeding food, basically? What? That's crazy. So there's an actual human side of the planet. No way. Yeah! That means there's somewhere they can go. Oh no. What now? Why? Oh, great. Yeah, I like this. I love these kids' sense of, like, power or urgency. Like, they, they say they're going to do it, they're going to do it. Sanju and Munjika are nice. Yeah. Crap. There's many more places where the humans are kept. That would be the end goal, wouldn't it? I honestly don't see all this happening yet, though. Like, especially the they probably amped up the security on the farm now. I just don't see it happening like I feel like there needs to be like a time skip or something these kids need to grow up like they're going up against massive amounts of demons it's gonna be way too hard Emma's a good leader she's very optimistic but she's a good leader I, I respect these two de two demons man they're doing this sort of all for them for no benefit other than just their own kindness <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's got a point. If you go down, the fucking ship goes down, bro. True, yeah. But you're a crazy little son of a bitch for doing that. <laughs> she's scary. <laughs> I love the older kids getting roasted by the little kids. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, oh, so cute. Oh, guys, if you if you two start crying, everybody's going to start crying, so don't. <laughs> oh, must protect all of these kids. Must protect. You're cooking? Whoa. <laughs> Raise a good cook, awesome. Ooh, dumplings. Mm. I wonder who started this religion. Like, what was the reasoning behind not killing humans? That's an interesting thing to think about as well. Damn, even teaching them weaponry and hunting and shit? Bro, these kids are leveling up a bit here. 
they're definitely better chances of surviving now than they were when they were alone in the forest. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. Oof. Emma's good at hunting. Figures she's like really sporty, isn't she? Oh, they're finally out of the forest? Or they're still in the forest? I don't know. I feel like they should have something that kind of masks their scent. I feel like that'd be helpful. Maybe he can help you out with some weak spots on a demon. That would be good. Is she talking about just animals or demons here? Okay, I thought she was going to ask about how to kill demons too. Damn. Yeah. I've never hunted or anything myself, so I couldn't imagine what it'd be like to have to take an animal's life. But it's for the sake of survival, so it's okay to hunt like this. It's dead, but that is the circle of life. Use its, use its meat and replenish yourself. And thank nature. That's all you have to do. Oh, nice. That's really cool. Oh. Is that what happens with... Oh, is that what happens with the children? Yeah, let it out. I get it. Ugh, the idea of doing something like that to a living creature is just crazy. I'm glad I'll probably never have to do it. <sighs> I hope it wasn't too. That's nice to hear. That's nice to hear, at least. Wow. So it's really a blood flower then. Oh my god. I like that Emma's taking this upon herself as well. Oh, Emma. You're so good. Right, so that was the Promised Neverland Season 2, Episode 2. Really good episode. I'm really happy that Mujika and Sanju are good demons and how they've treated the kids is just so nice. Like, they've not only taught them and fed them and made them feel homely and given them a reason to actually move on with their life and keep going. Like, they've shown them that not everyone in the world is out to kill them um don't regarding on how big the faith is i don't know obviously but hopefully they meet more people like this soon or demons like this soon but they're just really nice characters and i really enjoyed the aspects of this episode where like kind of touching on reality of like taking another thing's life and so on and so forth but um, yeah, overall a really good episode and that's all I really have to say. So anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I say